when you were working on the movie, The Year of the Comet, um, the, the producers, or I believe uh, Rob Reiner and the directors and the producers, um, they said, oh, we want, we're going to get, an, uh, we, we were going to use the music by the Chieftains. And then you said, well, hold on a second. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me write you a theme and then you can choose it, reject it if you like it or don't like it. But let me just, let me just write something first. And then you bought, you said you bought ev- as many records as you could of the Chieftains. And you said, sitting there for hours trying to dissect their sound in order to come up with a theme that they might have liked, but was along that sort of um, language. Yes. I mean, the interesting thing was that I ended up replacing another composer's score. And one of the things that I thought that the other composer had really left out was the idea that, you know, music can help you with location. And since a lot of this, well, the first, <laughs> certainly the first part of the story starts in Scotland, it's like Celtic music would be a natural thing. Yeah. And then when when the when Rob Reiner and, and um, Peter Yates, the director, were talking to me after they showed me the film, they they brought up this idea of, you know, buying a piece by the Chieftains. Now you need to have some explanation of that. They knew me mostly as Mark Shaman's conductor and orchestrator, so they didn't really know me as a composer. So they felt that you know that was kind of the safe thing to do is like, well, let's get something by the Chieftains that Hummy can base the theme on. And when they said that, my heart sank into my, you know, just sank. I was just, I felt horrible. And I, I said, well, okay, I got to think fast on my feet if I'm going to, you know, if I'm going to save this and make this a really a composition gig. And so I suggested to them that if they give me the weekend, exactly like you said, I can come up with something. If they don't like it, then they can always go buy something from the Chieftains. But I also pointed out to them that I'd probably be saving them between twenty five and $50,000 which since I was the second composer on the film, it had already cost them a lot of money. So I went away again and did exactly what you said. I listened to the Chieftains, tried to kind of suss out what it is that made the Chieftains sound like the Chieftains, and that's what I put into my piece. So I used Penny Whistle, I used Bodrin, and I used Hammer, Hammer Dulcimer, along with an orchestra. But I also, the types of harmonies I did, the types of melodies, all of those aspects were things that I tried to suss out what it was the Chieftains did, you know. But 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 the other thing is also that when you're writing a theme for a film, you also have to make sure that it's going to work in a very in the various scenarios that it's going to have to support. So the main theme that in the film is called Maggie Goes to Scotland. And that's when she goes to Scotland and she's introduced to the country for the first time. And then it becomes her love theme. Well, they're, they, they're going to have completely different emotional contexts. And so you have to make sure that the theme is workable with both of those contexts. So even though my music is Celtic flavored. It's not pure Celtic because I also have to be able to manipulate it to fulfill other requirements in the movie. So it really is a, um, the art form of film scoring is, you know, what I usually explain to it is just themes and variations and the dramatic variations are like, you know, a happy person. You may have a theme for a character named Sally and maybe she's happy and then you have to play her very sad. Well, those would be, themes that would be related to each other. They wouldn't be completely different pieces of music. And usually the way I teach it is that it would be, you know, Sally's happy theme would have a similar melody to Sally's sad theme, but the texture and the harmonization of Sally's sad theme and the tempo and the instrumentation would be very different. I mean, a really good example of that, if, 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 if everybody wants to go check it out, is go watch the first 20 minutes of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark and You'll notice that the first time that, that we hear um, Indiana Jones's theme, ba ba da is when he's running away from the uh, Aboriginal soldiers. And then, if you watch from that point on for another ten minutes, you'll hear five different dramatic variations, five or six different dramatic variations of the theme. It's just, it's he's brilliant, it's, you know, and he and he he's kind of the one of the people that I learned from in terms of watching. 